Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here welcome my name is Leanne and for those of you who aren't new welcome back guys so today's video is gonna be a little different guys I'm gonna be talking about how um, to become a data analyst I'm gonna be giving my perspective and my experience on how I went through becoming a full-time data analyst um, I got a lot of questions on my video a day in the life of a data analyst video when I was pregnant I did get a lot of questions and people asked me like how I became a data analyst and what I do and what kind of schooling I did and how did I apply for a job and such things like that. So I'm going to give you a little bit of information. Remember, this is just my experience on what I went through. Your experience might be different, but I'm just going to give you some ideas or tips that you could um, use if you want to get into this field. It's a very lucrative field right now. There's a lot of jobs being opened up in this field. Um, you could make a lot of money being in any kind of IT field. I feel like IT is where the money's at. So any kind of computer related technology field, remember technology changing every day, everything getting more techno, tech, techno. That's not even a word, techno, techno, te I can't even say it, technical. <laughs> I try to make up words. <laughs> yeah, everything getting more, you know, tech savvy today, everybody more into, you know, being a part of the tech world. So if you want to hear more of what I got to say about being a data analyst, please continue to watch. Let me just start by reiterating what I said before. I have my notes here, so if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes because I want to write down everything so I don't miss nothing in telling you guys. So I got about five points that I want to touch on. Um, so like I said, there's a lot of jobs opening up to become a data analyst. So I've been a data analyst full time for about four years now. Previously, I was a research assistant for like three years, um, working under a director who did like um, data analysis and stuff like that. So I learned a lot from working under research folks when I was first getting into my career. So the first thing you really need to do is decide the type of analytics that you want to do so different analysts have different requirements so you need to um really decide which kind of analyst you want to be they're research analysts financial analysts business analysts analysts who work in um healthcare coding and stuff like that so you first need to decide what kind of analyst field that you actually want to work in so when i was an undergraduate i fell in love with programming so I know I want to do something with this analytics where I have to program. So you need to find your niche and once you find your niche, you just need to develop the skill sets that you need in order to become good at it. So in my case, learning SQL or SQL structured query language was a big deal for me. In order for me to um, keep moving forward or stepping forward in my career, I had to learn SQL and I do encourage everybody to learn SQL at least as like for a basic programming language, have a knowledge of SQL because a lot of people use SQL. So I enjoy learning SQL and I decided to develop my skill set in SQL. The second thing that I want you guys to know is even though you don't have like the specific skill that employer may be looking for, it's okay. Because when I started my job where I'm at now, we use SAS. So I didn't know anything about SAS, but I knew SQL. So you could use SQL inside of SAS interchangeably. Um, so you could write SAS and then still use SQL with proxy codes and stuff inside of it. So I had a basic idea of SQL. So even if I didn't know SAS, I could have used SQL inside of SAS. <laughs> I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. So yeah. So even if you don't know, like you gonna learn because ain't no way you gonna go on a job and be like know everything at once because each employer have their way of doing things. So when I went there, I had to develop their way of doing things and understand how they did things, um, where they store their data, how they manipulate their data, how they put the data, all those kind of codes and stuff like that. So don't be worried that you don't know like a whole lot of programming or whatever. As long as you have a basic idea and you know like you are developing your skill set, it's okay. I also use my SQL. I also did a lot of um, training in my undergrad years using MySQL and I really like doing database um, development and stuff in MySQL. So MySQL and SQL skills were transferable into my career where I'm at now. So the third tip I want to share with you guys is to develop your visualization skills. Meaning practice using Tableau, OBI, SAS VA, FIA, etc. Like that. Practice doing visualizations like in those softwares. I think Power BI is free to download um tableau you have to have a license but there are um excel well a lot of people don't some people probably still use excel 
but that's kind of old school but a lot of people are using tableau now so if you could like somehow get tableau to be able to use it and um develop your visualization skills that way that'd be great i'm gonna say that this is where i struggle sometimes i was so used to using excel to do spreadsheets and then do the charts with the line graphs and stuff and then when i learned i learned tableau like four years ago it was a learning curve it's basically like excel and steroids that's how i'll explain it but i love tableau i love creating visualizations in it and as you guys may know already like using visualizations this is where you're going to tell the story of the data that you're trying to represent or present to your um end user the fourth tip i want to share with you guys is to try and see if you could get into like an internship if you are like in just coming up and you in school or undergrad or even grad school try and see if you could um get an internship so you could gain some experience because i remember when i was in school i didn't have i was doing computer science in my undergrad but i didn't have any work experience so in school like that's the thing i don't get like once you graduate and stuff it's like you still don't have experience so like a lot of people still don't want to give you a chance so like you have to start somewhere so See if you could get internship, that'd be good. And what I did when I was in undergraduate, I actually internship in the analytics department of my college. So I was around data all the time. I used to do work study there as well, and I also did my internship there as well. So I was always around data and an analyst, the analyst there in that office. So I had a very, very good idea on how to, you know, start pulling data um, I remember we used to use Toad for data analytics I don't know if you guys know about Toad but that's what they used back then and um, to pull data and stuff but now we use like I said I use SAS now and SQL developer and also um, EG enterprise guy I use that as well my fifth tip would be apply for the job let me tell you I used to apply to jobs like crazy well congratulations you got yourself a job. Right on, huh? Like 600 jobs I applied to. Even if I feel like I don't qualify, you never know. Like, you never know you could probably get a car back and go there and outshine them. And you know, you never know. Just apply for the job. You don't have to build every single skill. As long as you are confident in the skills that you have and you're willing and able to build on it and you know what you want, I say go for it. Apply for the job. My experience coming from the US Virgin Islands, I actually graduated undergrad and after I graduated undergrad, I didn't find a job in my field that I wanted because I knew it was limited. It's either government or private down in the BI. I applied for a lot of government jobs but I didn't get any. Nobody was calling me. Um, the university didn't rehab hire me because I want contract with my work study so they didn't hire me any positions full-time or anything so I had to go look for a job and um I ended up having to go work in a jewelry manufacturing company that's where I find my first job after graduating school with a computer science degree I went to work in a jewelry manufacturing company not saying that it's a bad thing because that's why I meet my husband you know like not saying not saying a bad thing it's just that one little side track to go meet him you know like you know in order for us to get here where we at now so yeah i met him there and then eventually that company closed on I, it was i was there for like a year and i have feel so suffocated like i have feel so defeated like i just graduated with my mass with my undergrad in computer science and the people that i was graduating with they were finding jobs in the field and i was like what and i used to work so hard and it's like i can't find a job but they find a job i have feel like wow like wow I was feeling like stuck and I knew I wanted to do my masters as well so that job closed down and basically what a blessing in disguise like it was all a blessing I found my husband the job closed we got paid severance and everything um we basically just me and my husband took the money that we got put it together and we moved up here to Florida that was back in 2013 we've been here for like six years now and I don't regret moving at all and I found a job first in my field that's why i was the research assistant for about three well two and a half years i would say still i had the title of data analyst but i was doing like analyst work after i stayed there for about two years i stayed there working and i did my master's in the meantime and then i graduated with my master's in 2016. i started to apply for jobs around the area eventually i got a job offer in may and i, I, I have finished in december but i wanted to walk in june and i started my job may of 2016 and i've been there for about four years now so 
apply for the job that's what i could tell like apply for the job and just keep developing your skills i'm gonna leave some resources down below some free resources i should say in case you guys want to go and practice 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 if you guys have any questions for me please feel free to leave them down below i'll be answering them thank you for joining me here please subscribe if you have not already done so click the like button if this video helped you out so i can know to make more content like this i really enjoy it. oh my god that was thunder like my power just tripped Wow, see my comes again now. And leave any tips that you have also below in the comments for others to see. Just just share information back and forth. That'd be cool. And um, yeah, you guys take care, and I'll see you in another one. Bye.